everyone. It's Magaminx here. You're playing Dark Scavenger. Have a listen to this music. It's fucking badass, guys. I know nothing about this game. The dev asked me to have a look at it, so I am. Let's play. Oh. Good job I never clear my internet cache then. You were drifting alone through space. A massive creature approaches you from the blackness. Hmm. Hmm. What do we have here? Oh, just another human. How disappointing. I was hoping for something a bit more thrilling. Who or what are you? My name is Dan. I am the apex of eternity. And the beginning of something more elaborate. But let us conclude this verbal exchange. I must introduce you to a new breed of existence. You won't consume me so easily. Den cackles loudly. <laughs> Your, resist <laughs> Your resistance amuses me. Fight back if you can. Okay, so this is a tutorial on the battle mode, I guess, which is like turn-based. It's your turn, what will you do? I will attack with an old sword! You slash Den with your old sword. Den watches you carefully. I guess we'll keep slashing him? Oh, let's use a battle booster. Okay. And we seem to hit him for one again? That's not so good. Then he's just watching us. He's having a great fucking time. Old robot, come help us. <sighs> the old robot shot down with a laser. I guess we just have to attack. This is like the basic tutorial. Come on, you fucker. Then flicks you backwards and laughs. You take this is not good. Then stop burning us. Then you fuck. Then is tired of playing with us. It just said I didn't see that quickly. Den wraps his huge hand around your body. Something bad is about to happen. You take six damage. He's gonna fling us into the cosmos or something. 72. Use the healing potion at the top right hand corner. There we go. Fuck you, Den, you dickhead. Den holds an asteroid into our fragile body and we take six. Den is kicking our ass! I don't really know what's going on. We're just hitting him as best we can. Ten set us ablaze with the power of the sun. <sighs> Did we stun Den? Oh yes, come on, we can beat Den. We can beat him. Oh shit. Stop hitting us, Den, you fuck. Den opens a black hole and throws it into you. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Oh my god. There we go. You are strong, human. Much stronger than I anticipated. It's a shame you resist me. I could offer you something much greater than the reality you know. I shall leave you to run in space. When your body has faded away, I'll return to collect your eternal essence. I think there may be some inconsistencies in his voice there, but you know, you get the idea. It feels like you've been asleep for years. Your errands weigh a thousand pounds as your body struggles to stand. Slowly, you open your eyes. You wake up to find yourself on a spacecraft. Greet the creatures in front of you. Oh my god. <laughs> Greetings, Traveller. My name is Kamaho, and on behalf of all the Dark Scavengers, I welcome you to our ship. Welcome, you scavenger. <laughs> what creepy green man? That's his name. He's like the Joker on drugs. My name's Falson, and the big one without a mouth is Gazer. Gazer stares at you. I suppose you're wondering why you're here. Yes, that would be really good to know. We found you floating through space. We weren't sure if you were going to wake up at all. That would have made us very sad. We would love to let you rest, but unfortunately, your life is still in peril. How so? Our ship is running out of fuel, and when that happens, we will all perish. Can we get more fuel? We can, but it won't be easy. Our planet detects a tremendous source of power emanating from a fortress on the planet we are currently orbiting. If you can get us in there and grab it for us, we could use it as fuel, and maybe get out of this mess. 
Sounds good. Let's do this. Wonderful. We will be able to support you through crafting powerful equipment for you, but unfortunately, all of us are terrible fighters. Falson and Gazer both nod sadly. Oh, Gazer, you're so cute. Just, just like you got a vagina for a face. It's so adorable. Anyway, um, I'll explain the rest when you get down there. Head through the exit door when you're ready to depart. Okay. So this is almost like a, a choose-your-own-adventure type visual novel thing. Wandering through the serene forest, you encounter two bandits carrying bandies, two bandits carrying a long marble box between themselves. <laughs> Swiftly taking notice of you, the bandits place their heavy cargo on the ground, staring at you in disdain. Hey, what do you think you're doing here? Don't you know who we are? Don't you know who I am? Um, should we know? Uh, I'm your leader, fool. Bow down before me. You don't look like our leader. I said bow down. The bandits immediately bow down. We're sorry, Master Samakash. We'll be on our way. The bandits drop the large box on the ground before scampering into the distance. Good work with those bandits. Looks like you found some loot. Do you know what to do with it? No, please teach me. Click on the arrow after getting some loot and you'll come back to the ship where we'll be able to make you something useful out of it. This is our ship, for your reference. What a lovely ship. When you come here, we'll take the loot you collected and make core cool equipment out of it. I can make you powerful weapons. Folsom will create helpful items. Gazer will summon useful allies. Obtaining loot can be tricky, but it's the only way you could become stronger. We're counting on you. Good luck. So that's what's called scavenger, I guess. Sliding the marble container open with a mighty shovel reveals a dehydrated skeleton within. One of the bones looks a little different. This is Willy. Oh, it's caramelized bone, sorry. A bone glazed over in a strange orange sludge. I'm so mature. <laughs> okay, so we got a muddy puddle, bear traps. Okay, so click on a piece of loot. So we've got a bone dart Uzi as a new weapon. A bandit stands near the edge of the lake, firmly gripping a half empty bottle of liquid in his hand. Taking notice of you, the bandit howls at you in a drunken stupid. What the fuck is going on? What is this uh, you looking for? You want a piece of me? What are you drinking? This is a poop and crew One part of this killed an elk. It doesn't do it into a spindle. I'll tell you what. If you can find your home out of this, I'll let you live. Uh, I'll drink it. The liquid tastes funny, then it tastes terrible, then you can't taste it at all. After unloading the contents of your stomach in the grass, you black out for several minutes. When you awaken, sorry, when you awaken, the bandit standing over you, a toothy grin extended between his black and lips. That is pretty impressive. And take him out of the ball and you get another craving for it. See ya. See ya. The bandit starts and then takes another swig of his bottle before stumbling off into the forest. Got a bottle of cream brew. Okay. Bandit graves. A huge batch of thin red gravestone sticks out from the ground. Must have been some sort of battle here. We got battles. Did the bandit really drink all of these himself? Small rushes and flowers grow from black vines that protrude from the water. A bandit is carefully picking up the. Sp I love these looks. If you said as if he's searching for something, let's approach him. Oh hello, traveller. Haven't seen you in these parts before. Pay no heed. I'll be out of the way in a minute. What are you doing? Looking for examples of toadstools that sometimes grow on these vines. Though it's disconcerting to find these vines growing this far into the forest, as I've yet to locate any fully grown fungi, it appears that the infestation hasn't yet spread as far as I thought. Perhaps even, it's not too late to contain it. If you could excuse me, I need to get back to my post before someone notices it's gone. Farewell. The bandit snatches a few mushrooms from the vines and scurries off. Okay. A large cage is camouflaged with trees. There's enough room for several wild animals or people. Concerning. Right, um, no, I don't want to be here. Oh, we can use the crew, really. Let's give it to Gazer. Leech around. Oh, really? Really? It's called leech around? Really? The sound of a whip cracks a twi tightens around your shin. Suddenly you are suspended upside down from a tree. You walked right into a bandit trap! Distant footsteps and profane language informs you that a roving bandit patrol is on its way. Let's use a sharp weapon to destroy the rope. Which weapon? You cut yourself, I don't even know which one I picked on then. You can get yourself free from the ropes. It sounds like bandits are almost here. 
Um, ask an athletic ally to quickly climb the tree and set up a trap for the bandits. Wait for the bandits with your weapons ready. The bandits lock eyes with you and charge forward. Okay, so let's use our bone dart Uzi. That went pretty well. The gun rattles and hundreds of small darts fly from its barrel. I got this, guys. I got this. I got this. Trusty so it's rusty. <laughs> A massive blast pulverizes wood armor bandit. Mm. A heavy bullet blast makes bandit backwards. We'll be fine here, I don't think we have to worry. Let's use a trusty rusty sword. Causing blunt trauma, the rusty sword causes. Okay, um let's use a let's use leech around. Oh, and we get health back from using leech around. Interesting. You take the trap that once held your captive to the tree. Snap rope. May as well use that. Let's use it on full and we'll get a newbie trap. A majestic lake lies in front of you. No sign of the band, it's here. Odd. Your reflection stares back at you from the shimmering waters. Another bright set of eyes seems to be looking back at you, hidden in the depths of the lake. As you kneel down, a beautiful blue woman emerges from the shallow water. Despite her entrance, there is not a drop of water on her. I am Narin, deity of the Antivas. You are bold to approach me, but why is to acknowledge me? Do you know why I have revealed myself to you? I am the chosen one, because I fucking am. I have indeed chosen to speak to you. The power to convert a planet's energy into your tools demonstrates enormous potential. Perhaps one day you'll be strong enough even to defeat him. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. Yes, yes you are. I've been watching you ever since you first became a dark scavenger, but unfortunately, I am not the only one. Tell me his name. I'll kick his ass. No, you're not ready to face him. You must keep getting stronger, and I wish to help you in that regard. However, it may require a small sacrifice. What kind of sacrifice? I like something that you have not yet used. I want to feel the energy in its purest form before any of you have been depleted. In exchange, I will give you something that will help you on your journey. Um... Give him the newbie trap. Thank you, Dot Scavenger. Take this and be safe in your travels. If you wish to speak again, approach a body of water. I will appear if I'm around. The eyes of Marin vanish into the lake. Okay. A bizarre shrine stands at the edge of the lake. What's it for and who built it? I guess we're going to use the skeleton chi and let's make a weapon out of it. Oh, okay. I've got a weapon called skeleton chi. Oh, a group of bandits spots you from a stone fort above and begin shouting, shooting at you with their crossbows. Use an ally as a meat shield. Attempt to run into cover. Ow. Char um. We're going to distract the bandits. The bandits begin shooting at leech round, but miss with every shot. Infuriated, the bandits leave their post to pursue your ally. Attack the bandits while they're distracted. Let's use the skeleton chi. It's useless. Let's heal ourselves up. Okay, this is not going to go so well, I don't think. Oh, maybe it is. That was pretty easy. Yeah, he's dead. So these enemies are apparently strong versus melee. So we're going to use our pistols on them. That skeleton cheek was kind of a waste, wasn't it? I don't think I should have used it then. That's a really bad idea. We defeated them fairly easily, though. You take a bandit crossbow as a trophy. Uh, guess we use the bandit crossbow. Taser the Keen. Wonderful. A bandit in a fancy looking suit of armor kneels before a large lake, holding a heads of two fallen bandits beneath its surface. You stupid bastards. I told you to stop drinking on your ship, but you didn't listen. Now you get to drink all you want. Let's get involved. Cautiously, you approach the odd looking bandit. His yellow eyes meticulously study your shape. Huh, a dark scavenger. Here. You come for our riches. You would be a fool to steal from us. How do you know who I am? We're t you're talking to Amarin, legendary Vindel general. And like yourself, I've done my research. I know what I'm up against. Lucky you. You get to see my power firsthand. I suspected that might be your reaction. Oh, we're going to... St <laughs> oh, God. They were, I thought they were dead. Let's see how strong you are. Jesus, look at them, just look at them, look at the artwork in this. While this, like, the animations are lacking, this takes me back to the days of old school RPGs so much. It's it's just amazing. Like, I love this sort of thing. 
Right, let's try uh, our new ally, Taser the Keen. Ah. Oh, we c he can't attack bandits because they were once his friends. Bullshit. Oh, and things deteriorate. That's not good. That's not good. I didn't realise things deteriorated. That was indeed impressive, Dark Scavenger. Granted, they were under the influence, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Amaran steps away from you, trembling as his hand descends towards the sword at his waist. It's been a while since I've faced up since a worthy adversary in battle. Would you mind giving me a moment to warm up? Rush him. Wait, my weapon's stuck in its scabbard. At least let me get it out. Don't be discernible. I realise you're quite strong, perhaps even my level. Why don't I give you something for your trouble and we'll call it a draw? Let's see what he has to offer. I knew you'd see it my way. Oh, God. We're gonna die. Foolish dark scavengers. I don't have time to waste fighting you. Enjoy your parting gift. Amaran laughs hysterically and retreats into the forest. After prying the crooked bolts from your abdomen, you tuck it away for later. The wound could use some stitches, though. Okay. Anyway, guys, I think that's enough of a first look at Dark Scavenger. Really interesting. Something I haven't played its like for a long time. It takes me back to kind of old school RPG days, and I like that, and I think I'll be playing some more camera. Um, the game, I think, is trying to get on green light at the moment, so all the appropriate links and things will be in the description. Um, and you should definitely check it out, because... Dark Scavenger, it's pretty fucking awesome as far as I'm concerned. Really nice style, just a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed this uh, look at the game. If you did, leave a like, a favourite, a comment. I'll see you in the next part. I won't see you in the next part because it's a one-shot, but I will see you in the next video. Bye for now, Minxlings. See you soon.